Good afternoon, my name is Howard Goldberg. I'm a managing partner at a consulting firm that uh, deals with technology companies. Uh, my prior life, uh, most of my career, I've been a hands-on operator, COO, president of uh, technology companies, Harvard technology companies in the men's space, microelectronics, and printed electronics. I've helped bring the touch sensor to the Tesla car. I've also helped uh, develop sensors to find oil and gas on the ground using sound wave technology. Part of my career, I also worked at a startup company in smart packaging for pharmaceutical applications and helping do a series A. So I've been in the business side most of my career. I'm a techie of art, did my PhD electrical engineering, did my postdoc at MIT. I am a mentor with FitGuard here, which is setting up right now, Anthony. Uh, the reason why I was attracted to the product is a very intuitive and elegant approach. As you know, mo most athletes wear my mouth guard, so their technology fits in the standard mouth guard platform. But there's not a one-size-fits-all. There's a software aspect of this that allows it to tune for each of the user cases based on age, weight, and gender. So it makes it customizable. So to me, it was a nice marriage of sensors, bends, uh, wearables, as well as big data, which means there's multiple pathways to monetization. Uh, what attracted me to the team is we're trying to solve a real-world problem that impacts the healthcare and well-being of both student athletes and professional athletes. And that's pretty timely, the new Will Smith movie, movie on the NFL with concussion injuries, as well as over the last couple years, there many major news articles on concussion injuries leading later to brain damage and even deaths. So think how powerful it is if we can capture this and mitigate this in real time. Uh, what also attracted me is I like to work with founders that are passionate. And my first coffee meeting with Anthony, his passion and desire to sweep across the table, and then mirrored by Bob and the rest of the team. So with that, let me do the part. Hello, I'm Anthony with Force Impact Technologies. Ever since I was a young boy, I was that crazy, out of control child who no one knew what to do with. So I was encouraged to organize sports. Since the age of five, I played football, t-ball. Middle school, I played football and lacrosse. High school, water polo. I was a varsity wrestling team captain, and that helped translate to a collegiate rugby career at Arizona State University. It was spring 2011, I took a hard hit to the back of the head. I wasn't sure what side the ball to line up on. I wasn't even sure who we were playing. And I was so thankful at that time. My teammate, a trained EMT, recognized these signs of an undetected injury and urged me off the field. But I'm not here to talk about me. I want to tell you about the estimated 400 million athletes worldwide. The Center for Disease Control estimates that as many as 10% of these athletes will suffer sports-related concussion every single year. Additionally, the CDC estimates a staggering 47% of those athletes will not self-diagnose or self-report any symptoms. This means millions of individuals are remaining on the field with undiagnosed head injuries, which could potentially lead to a serious and fatal condition known as second impact syndrome. The FIT team set out to change that. I'm Bob Behrman, co-founder of Force Impact Technologies, and our solution to get those athletes safely off of the field is the Fit Guard. The Fit Guard is a mouth guard that will measure the force of an impact and illuminate color-coded LEDs embedded in the front of the mouth guard to provide coaches and officials with an instant visual indication when a player needs to come off of the field to be properly evaluated. Now the lights are color-coded with green representing a low risk, blue a moderate risk, and red a severe risk. As Howard mentioned earlier, we're inputting each athlete's age, gender, and weight through our smartphone application. What that allows us to do is correlate a color back to a number. So if we input, say, a 15-year-old male who's 120 pounds, and we see a blue notification, that tells coaches and officials that the impact is between, say, 15 and 21 Gs. If that same athlete received a red notification, we would know that that impact exceeded 21 G. Now it's important to look at what we're doing and what we're not doing. What we're not doing is diagnosing concussions. The science around that is still very iffy. We make no claims that our mouth guard identifies concussions or that red lights mean a concussion occurred. Rather, we're simply trying to call attention to hard impacts that youth officials and coaches may have missed. If any of you have children, like I do myself, and you've been to those sporting events, you know that at times it's chaos, with kids running all over the place. Where's my helmet? I can't find my water bottle. Sometimes coaches and officials are distracted. 
they may miss these impacts. The fit guard can help identify significant impacts. Inside the fit guard, we're using a FDA approved oil and bite thermoplastic so that the fit guard will look and feel just like a standard mouth guard. It will be the same oil and bite fit that uh, normal mouth guards on the market are today, so you can drop it right in the boiling water and get that custom fit. We're using an accelerometer and gyroscope to measure our forces, as well as a magnetometer, which gives us the direction of orientation from an impact. Our onboard MCU is making the determination about whether or not a threshold was breached and what color to activate the lights. Lastly, our Bluetooth antenna is what's transmitting data back and forth to our smartphone application so that parents can download impacts and have a log over the course of a game, a week, or even a full season so that they can make informed decisions about the health and safety of their children as they play the sports they love. In terms of the market, we know that there are approximately 36 million registered athletes in the U.S. under 18 years of age. We also know that approximately 40 million mount guards are sold annually in the U.S. alone. But when we look at the total market worldwide, we're talking about over 450 million athletes. And why there's such a big jump there is that the mouth guard market and athlete market is a lot bigger than just football. A lot of people hear about this and think, okay, we're solving a football problem, but we're not. The second highest rate of sports-related concussions actually occur in women's soccer. So it's not just traditional sports that are affected by this. Since we've started, we've been approached by a downhill skier on the U.S. Junior Olympic team who took a hard fall. We've been approached by a bull rider who says that this issue is gaining more significance in their sport as well. So the market application is huge. When we talk about our competitive advantage, first is our color-coded LED indication system. That will be the initial instant indication that red light will be assigned to coaches and officials that at worst they need to go over and talk to that player to give them a quick evaluation to decide if they need to go to the sidelines. Secondly, the fit guard is going to be user specific. Having the age, gender, and weight allows us to set those thresholds, which is extremely important because research shows that females are more susceptible than males to concussions, teens more susceptible than adults, and children more susceptible than teens. A one-size-fits-all approach that we see in certain helmeted systems is not effective. Next, we're app power. We've got that data so that parents can look back and make decisions. Because as we're also learning, it's not just the single big impact that is problematic, but an aggregation of hits over time. So that parents can use that app and look at the data in the cloud to make a determination about whether their child needs to continue practicing or playing if there have been a number of significant impacts. And then lastly, database driven. So one of the beautiful things about our product is that we're going to be creating the first ever database for youth sports head impacts. Part of the reason it's so hard to know when a concussion occurs is because it's hard to get that data. The only way to know how hard these impacts are in youth sports is to take kids out and hit them in the head repeatedly. That's not a lab test I'd like to put my kids through, and hopefully most of you are feeling the same, although maybe some of you are saying, maybe. Uh, but because of that, we're going to have this back end that allows us to start correlating impacts across ages and sports so that we can aggregate the type of forces that kids are actually experiencing. Thank you, Bob. And we've assembled a wonderful team to do so. I have my MBA from Arizona State University, focusing on supply chain management. I played countless sports. I'm a brown belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Bob's one of our concerned parents, and also black belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, is a background in a Fortune 100 technical distribution company. Howard, our investor, or our advisor who you met, Jama, our hardware specialist out of Caltech, locally here in Pasadena. Sam is our mobile backend, helps with the data architecture, Bluetooth stack, and creating the user interface that our uh, parents will interact with. Colleen is the director of relations and community outreach, and has really been helping building the brand. It's been tremendous in the press you're about to see. Additionally, we're complimented by Kai Engineering, who will help us fill in some of the technical gaps that we weren't specialized in, such as firmware and algorithm development, as well as the best way to constantly ping the cloud to update the newest thresholds to make sure that our dynamic inputs of these RITs are constantly evolving. Now, what does that mean? That means when someone's injured, we take that into account, and
and we put that into the threshold to make it more sensitive. So if someone is injured, their historical head health history will now be reflected in their lower, more sensitive thresholds. Blue, bluefish concept has been tremendous in helping us get it all into a mouth guard, which was the hardest part. We know these off-the-shelf components can't exist, they're in your cell phones today, but the big question was, will it fit? Is it small enough? We've answered that question. We'll be happy to demonstrate that prototype later. We're also complimented by Pipeline Engineering, who did the industrial design, designed our case, helped make it look beautiful. And Joey Chen, who's a powering system expert, who helped us get the amount of power we need to get the system running. We have two notable investors. Chris Birch, he co-founded Tory Birch. He sold his stake in that company for $650 million in 2013. as has leveraged that to create a new hedge fund. He's the best in our company. He's a personal mentor of mine. I spoke with him yesterday for a good luck chat and a pep talk. Additionally, Kim Burrell took a company from Bootstrap through IPO as an expert in digital advertising. She's currently the CEO of Amobi, and she will be helping us button up our marketing, brand management, and getting this company well known. <coughs> we have tremendous support from Naked LA, for all our friends and family, and Bob and I have contributed some owner contributed capital. But now let's talk about the business model. That's why we're here, right? So looking at this, of course we're going to be selling mouth guards direct to consumer. So when we first go to market, the fit guard will retail for about $129.99. That will include the mouth guard, the charging case, as well as access to the application. However, our plan is also to approach leagues, associations, and school districts. And it's not just a straight sell, we want you to use our mouth guard because. But we've actually been talking to insurance companies who have said that if we are able to demonstrate that we can call out these impacts and show that data, then they would be willing to consider lowered uh, liability insurance premiums for associations and school districts that are using our product. Because we are able to point out a huge problem and help keep athletes in those groups safer than the general population. And then lastly, there is that back-end database. So we're going to have this huge database across a wide range of sports, ages, and both <coughs> genders that we'll be compiling without any identifying data other than the age, gender, and weight of the athlete along with the sport play. There's huge ramifications for that data on the back end because that data set doesn't exist today. There are other devices out there that are tracking these impacts, but not in the cloud and not with the level of specificity that we are using that age, gender, weight, and sport played output. So there's a huge opportunity with that data set that goes beyond just the physical product. I want to take a moment and reflect on some of the accomplishments and recognition we've received. We're recognized by top digital uh, sports and fitness product by Digital Trends, beating out Fitbit and Under Armour. We were at TechCrunch Hardware Battlefield. We'll be going out to Munich, Germany to compete in the World Technology uh, Finalist, sponsored by ST Micro. We've been on CNBC's Make Me a Millionaire Inventor. And we've been acknowledged by Smithsonian Magazine. We've won Popular Science Best of What's New 2015 and a number of other local and regional competitions. This has generated a tremendous amount of press. We've been covered in essentially every major press network you can imagine. Uh, you, and we've really seen that help build up our brand and people are starting to recognize us. I'll tell you, one of the best feelings is saying, hey, are you guys the mouth guard company? And people are starting to recognize us. It's really nice to go out there to these conferences and start seeing all that hard work being reflected and people noticing us. Timeline can be seen here. We hope to be ready and be able to launch by next football season fall 2016. Additionally, there's some other opportunities in other sports, such as the Olympics down in rugby that we'd love to beta trial with with a couple athletes that we've known. And um, we hope to produce 5,000 units to gross enough revenue to be profitable after those units. And so in summary, sports are not the problem. We get that question a lot. People ask me, would I let my children play football? Absolutely. Football is not the problem. Undiagnosed impacts are the issue. The 47% of athletes who stay on the field after receiving a concussion are the problem. They're on the field exposing themselves to second impact syndrome, a condition that occurs when an athlete with a concussed brain receives a second forceful head impact. That's where we see these horrible stories about high school athletes dying in games and practice from head trauma. We need a better indicator of when a hard impact occurs. 
We'll be doing a live demo back in our room. Um, this is a video that we shot at TechCrunch on stage. I apologize for not having any sound. Sam uh, is based in Austin. He was a little unwilling to let Bob throw a ball in his face. So we're just going to show it here. We did this last week. We'll be feeding this uh, back in the room later. <laughs> so Bob's explaining how Sam has yet to sign the waiver. Sam's going to head the soccer ball. Alpha goes off. Obviously, the sensitivity was set a little bit lower for demonstration purposes, but functionally, it shows that we were able to accomplish what we set out to do. Thank you so much. I'm Anthony Gonzalez with Force Impact Technology, and have a great day. Woo!